gun to your head, you got a fucking animal. Uh, what wow. And you can't this say, was, give me was, the bullet. I knew today this was going to happen to me figured, today. Uh, yeah. This was the day. Oh. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Girls on Guys. That's right. I'm Nina Tar, your hostess with the mostest. Um, I'll work on intros. Uh, you know, episode 70 something, and I'm still uh, just chugging along with them. Today we have two very funny, very talented people with us. I'm very excited. First up, we have the wonderful comedian, Ashley Ray. She is also the host of TV I Say, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank I'm you so very much. I'm so happy to be here. And then we have the wonderful, the beautiful, the charming, the charismatic, Jamel Johnson. Jamel Johnson is a very funny stand-up comedian, and also listen to his podcast, Brand the Jamel and Brandon Show, or Brand Brandon Jamel Show. Well, I guess if I'm here, you can say yeah, you can for today. Just look us both up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it. yeah. You should go first. We'll take it. I guess it's alphabetical order. Brandon first. Yeah, no, hey, listen, man. These you know, are laws. Yeah, I know. Seriously, <laughs> man. Um, okay, guys. Uh, we have a lot of questions, so I feel like we should just kind of like snap into a slim gym right yeah. now. Yeah. Let's do it, okay? Here to help the people. Let's go. This one, okay, so I don't know how I feel about this one, but we'll say, okay. Messaging guys first on a dating app or Instagram. If you're uh, a lady, do you think that that's in poor taste or do you think it doesn't fucking matter, man? I think it's a great way to show that you're interested in the person. Is it scary, though, isn't it? Like, do you think, like, a girl's, like, a little thirsty if she does a... I... I try not to, but I will. I you do have the girl, judgment. Girl message, uh. I do. I don't think they're thirsty. I just think this person likes me. But isn't that is that a net positive thing or net I mean, negative? Yeah, but then I'd be worried. Like, all right, what if they're just like, what if I'm trying to get they're trying to book me on a show or some shit? You know what Ooh, I mean? Like yeah, sometimes, yeah. sometimes that first message isn't like a horny thing, but I ain't gonna. I do be thinking it's horny. Yeah, Ashley. Yeah, I, I think you should absolutely do that, lady. Send the first message. Send the first shot. Uh, you know, especially if you're looking for just some casual fun, somebody to hook up with for a little bit. I, it's always worked out for me. It's always been a good time. Uh, I will say I do think it can be harder to take it to a relationship level if you go that way. Why Why do you think that is? You think like a guy initially is like, damn, yeah. this bitch is riding my job. There's, like, yeah, this I is... think uh, there's something where, well, first of all, the ideal relationship dynamic for any woman is that the guy is more into you. And so if you're if you're the one who DM first, they already are going to feel like you conceded that power. She'll give so, me my car anytime. Yeah. I can borrow a yeah. car. At so I think for them, it's like, oh, relationship. No, she's more into me. This is a different situation. So it, it can be a little difficult. It's a really fragile dynamic. When we're talking about kind of like straight, like male, female relationships. Uh, it's yeah. a very fragile dynamic. When I was on the dating apps, I messaged one guy first ever. And I honestly regret it so fucking hard. <laughs> I honestly, I did it because and it was like stupid. You know what it was? Is that my dumb ass was like, it was on Raya and oh. his song choice was so sick. Like it was like this super rare Brazilian funk song from okay. like the seventies. And I was like, this is dope. Cause most of the time it's like moves, fucking like moves like Jagger from Maroon 5 they and I'm like that jump off a yeah, building yeah. bro oh. or Kid Cudi I, <laughs> yeah. I see a lot of that the worst is like when they think they're being clever and they'll do like Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones like pleased to meet you hope you guess my name we're like oh I get it because uh, right, it's like right, pleased right, to right. meet you so this is, yeah. and then you're like let's like not weird all this dating app that's you know? like voicemail shit that's like when you used to have an answering machine with yeah. a tape in it yeah or when you could like save a ringtone song to someone's contact and, yeah like, you know, yeah yeah no, no i didn't but, but i i messaged this guy i was just like hey that's a really cool song and he was so like nonplussed by it and he wasn't even this is the most fucking offensive part about it wasn't even that attractive he was yeah, like Raya. He, was like tiny, he was like a little shrimp man little tiny man not that attractive Ugh. just had a cool song and i was like i'll just i'll just say cool song it was like cool song and he's like <laughs> yeah and I'm like, all right. And ended up hanging out with this guy. He didn't give two shits about me. And my in my brain, I'm like, that's fine. Like, he'll, he'll actually end up liking me if I just really try super hard. And then it's just that I just kept feeling like more and more like dog shit. And I was like, so never again. But yeah, Raya uh, sucks. I hate it. It's kind of like, I don't know, a, a Victorian ball of dating 
dating apps. Like it's so there's so many rules and ways you have to be on there where it's like, don't you dare approach the gentry that, <laughs> you know, you're a little part. Like if you're not famous enough, it's just it's a lot of. And it's also you're competing with like fucking these really massively hot like fucking Victoria's Secret models that are also just like acrobats yeah. and like yeah. fucking model and you're just like Jesus And you Christ. see them you're like really I'm on here with these people come on Yeah give At me least, a break yeah. These on Tinder I know they're bots Okay, I know yeah. I'm not actually, like I'm not dealing with this real competition. Yeah, I know they're just like Russian sex workers, yeah. and now I'm just like I can't fucking. This girl has abs. When right. am I? Sp I'm like I can't. She's do like, oh, I'm a creative director at Lululemon. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, guess, fuck yourself. <laughs> I know, but you know, if you talk to that person, they would just be like, it, it would it would be like you were enduring a conversation. They'd be like, have you been to Bali though? It's really beautiful this time of year. You and go. if you're gonna go, like I would definitely like you should definitely go. Not thinking that like you have like maybe perhaps not the financial means to go. They're like, well, you have Doesn't to go. Matter. You have to. Yeah. You have to go. Yeah. You're gonna want to go. At you're the taco gonna... stand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like midnight at a taco. They, stand. You're making them a coffee at a coffee shop. They're like yeah. you gotta go. <laughs> you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go. You really do. <laughs> it sounds like I missed a bullet or dodged a bullet with Raya. Like I was trying to oh, get yeah. on Raya a few years ago. Mm -mm. No, it's bullshit. Cause also like if uh, the guys on it too, like they all wear like wide brim preacher yeah. hats, and you're yeah. like. Yeah. What is up it's with this? Just got in from Denver. Yeah. They all look who's like Will I Am. Who. You're like, Stop, yeah. Dude. A who's who of guys wearing weird hats is mostly what Riot. Is. The worst is like it should be called. I don't know why if it rhymes with Playa for a reason, but it's like everyone has at least one photo from Burning Man on there, and yeah. I'm like, what is yeah. up with this? Would I get extra points for wearing a regular hat? If everybody's wearing weird hats, me, Jamel Johnson, Mister Normal Hat Man. Y'all know me. I'm a hat guy. Yeah, yeah. If I put on a normal hat, would you be like, people oh, probably hey. be into that. Whoa. I like a classic it baseball just hat. Just a regular yeah. baseball I'm, hat with a brim? Hat, I think people just would be like, okay. oh. I just Put the regular like, hat on. This yeah. is also just like random advice to dudes. Just wear a regular ass hat. Like you don't need to wear, like my dad, uh, he's not a cool guy like necessarily. He's like really into wearing like a fucking fedora now. And I'm uh, like, uh, I'm like, Brad Tar, you got to stop. Dude. Yeah. What is his reasonings? Is it yeah, like aerodynamics? Why? No, he's just bald. <laughs> <laughs> so all, and also, mean, here's yeah, another thing. True. Ladies. Okay, no, sorry. Gentlemen. If you wear a hat, I assume you're bald. You're bald. Wow. I assume that's what it always. You is. got nice hair. This yeah. is I. I finally got a haircut. First haircut of the summer. I say, hey. Oh, so you decided let last me let it out. Summer, let's yeah, make that let happen. Me let it. Let me let it out. <laughs> I don't know. You know, people know it's not. This isn't like yeah. Bosley. It's Bosley. follicles up there, dude. Because <laughs> like I watched 90 Day Fiance, and there's this guy on the show who, for the past three seasons, has refused to take his hat off. <laughs> because he's bald. Even like in the shower when he has sex with his girl, he keeps the, the hat, hat on. on. He keeps that. Shower? There's times when they're getting in bed and she's like, take that, Gino, take your hat. And he's like, no. And he will not take the hat, hat off. Hat to bed? Yeah. I got, I, and then this season. Some of my season, roughest days. Yeah, this season he's trying a new hat. He like, <laughs> So wow, he goes from one, the baseball cap, and now he's trying this new hat. And I like how that's like a plot point in the show where it's like yeah. this oh, season yeah. he's trying a new hat. He's trying like, a new What's hat. gonna happen? Uh, <laughs> that's crazy though. And she learns to accept it, and their relationship reaches a new ret level where then they do a golden shower or something. It's really a weird okay. season. And I've already I've already talked about this on this podcast, but I I feel like I'd be remiss not to mention that um I unfortunately got fucked uh, by a guy while wearing a hat uh because he was bald in oh and he was on that type of like yeah. nah leave it on leave it on leave the hat on yeah yeah and it was really like try and then i saw him take his hat off like after and then i was like oh this is why because it kind of felt like when james earl jones like when darth vader took his mask off i'm like yeah, yeah. i don't, don't want to yeah, 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 get back that. yeah you yeah. Yeah. look like a chicken fetus yeah, man what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> you got like it's all yeah. veiny so i'm gonna what? start leaving oh, my hat nice. on but i'm gonna turn it backwards it's kind of like that that's, uh that's, yeah that's give it a cool. like hey I'm that's hip yeah that wouldn't make me think bald that makes me think the cool guy yeah cool guy alert yeah this guy this guy's probably good at using a tech deck you know what I mean? Flip it like, back. Yeah, he's he's fucking power mode. He's chill, dude. Sport yeah, aerodynamic. Yeah. <laughs> now he's good. In there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like messaging. I I look. I I really admire when people take the the initiative to make the first move. I I know that it's scary. I don't fucking do it. When I was single, I didn't fucking do it. I think it's too scary. But if a, I would also say. If a man is going to judge you, ladies, if a man's going to judge you, if you fucking like hit him up first, 
Maybe and it's not it's not great, but I I say that in the same breath to say that I was a fucking regret when I did it because then I just felt like I felt like this guy just like he kind of he did judge me for it, but yeah. it's like it's such a stupid antiquated way of like men and women have like this. It's sad, but it's like I think a lot yeah. of times we're like, oh man, she's fucking thirsty, bro. Like oh, it's yeah. it's sad. Ladies like you, you know, and I'm a big fan of the ladies shoot your shot. I've done it. I used to have a move where I would like think a guy was hot at a bar and I'd go up and just be like, hey, uh, can I use your phone? And they would just give you the phone. Big time. Yeah. They'd be like, can Ooh. I see your phone? And I'd put my name in it. And then I'd be like, now you have my number. I saved it as Ashley, that cute girl from the bar. And it always worked. That always is worked. incredible. Also, yeah, when I was broke and in my early 20s, this was like when Uber first started and you, I would be like, ask a guy like, oh my God, my phone died. Can I use yours just to like call a friend and like have her send an Uber? And then I would just call an Uber from their phone. Wow. Okay, kind yeah. of deceptive. That, yeah, we, that okay. one was deceptive. Right, kind of, that was for deception, but the other times <laughs> were for love. But what I'm saying is that men will really just give you their phone. I think in person, Thanks. weird, weirdly, <laughs> yeah, they're like, sure. They're just like, here, no problem. I think making the first move in person is actually significantly better than online. Because online, the paper yeah. trail, I don't know what what is up with the paper trail that makes them kind of judge you. But if you're out and about, I feel like shooting your shot, like a lady making a first move is like totally totally fine works out well and i think weirdly on an app it doesn't because mm. on an app you're already putting yourself out there and i feel like there's i feel like people will judge other people for being on a, on an app and not themselves they'll be like well yeah. i need to be on this because i'm a professional i'm the art director for aesop soap yeah and i got <laughs> when, shit when else do. do i have time to meet someone yes and then she's like but look at this else, you're like fucking what a gross whore. disgusting monster yeah exactly <laughs> it's fucking weird um, okay, this is a question I quite like, and also I feel like you can speak to it a lot. Um, what's dumber, monogamy or non-monogamy? Ooh. You're non-monogamous, aren't you? I'm actually? non-monogamous. I am polyamorous. At the same time, I think polyamory is so stupid. I do it. It's. I'm like, why do I make it so hard? It's like you dating is already hard. And then it's like, let's throw in a Rubik's Cube in 4D and make it even harder <laughs> with polyamory so i i gotta say non-monogamy is stupid why do i do it why do any of us it's so hard so so hard just be monogamous just be in love so why do you do it i don't know because uh <laughs> my mom d had a daycare when i was growing up so it was in our house and when i was growing up i always had to share my mom with like 10 daycare kids mm. and so i think i just got very accustomed to like Love is something that can be shared. Like all these people think my mom is their mom and she's my mom and I love that. And so like who needs who needs traditional boundaries? Okay. That's really interesting. So I'm gonna blame her. <laughs> is I'm gonna blame my mom. How do you have I'm interested in this because like how do you have like the time for it? Do you feel like it like occupies a lot of your time? Because I always thought that with like non-monogamy, yeah. like polyamory, I'm like, how the fuck like are you able to hang out with these many people? Yeah. Oh, I mean, the serious polyamory kids, the ones with like their primaries, their secondary partners, the tertiaries, blah, blah, blah. They're just balls deep in a Google ca calendar all their lives. How's they're it just... you, take, you take the main to Disneyland. Yeah. And then the side Knott's Berry Farm. To Knott's Berry Farm. They got all the these third... like windows of Six like flags. we see each Six other yes. yeah 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 we i'd say not very far like, like, a little higher, <laughs> a little higher though. i like hey, hey, hey. i mean i do too yeah. i do america's too. biggest chicken restaurant yeah not very far yeah good to know underrated <laughs> underrated it's bad but um but, wait yeah. so you don't you you don't you're not as engaged within the I'm, community as other yeah people, like i'm saying. solo poly so i don't have primaries i just consider myself single all the time even when i have partners like i'm single but like yeah i have a person that i see all the time now who would is called like my boyfriend but if anybody i'm single <laughs> did you so. when getting into a relationship with somebody albeit polyamorous do you have to kind of off the bat explain like hey just so you know this is oh, how yeah. i operate yeah, you regardless gotta, of yeah. what you really. Oh yeah, because especially when you're a girl, people think you're lying about being non-monogamous. They're like, that's just something cool girls say so that they can marry me and trick me into monogamy. Interesting. And they oh. always think you're gonna change your mind someday and be like, no, you're right, I do wanna marry you. So I feel like you have to be really upfront about it. And you don't wanna waste people's time. Like I hate when I go out with someone and they're like, oh no, I'm very monogamous. And I'm like, so you didn't read my profile because what are we doing here? Do you think you so. would ever change your 
uh, position on this? Like, do you think that there's somebody that like, let's say you meet somebody, you fall very in love with them and they're like, look, I just really want you and I don't want to see anybody else and I don't want you to see anybody else. Is that something oh. you'd be willing to do? See, the first part I was like, great, you don't have to see anybody else. <laughs> what does that have to do with me? <laughs> like, great, if I'm all you want, we can definitely work out that dynamic. Uh, I like have been poly for like a decade now. I do believe in sort of the fluidity of it. I think that the best open relationships are people who have like periods of monogamy and take time to get to know each other. So I've done that where I've had someone who's like, hey, I think I really like you. I would love for us to just date and see if it's real. And then so at some point we'll go back to being open. For me, it's always like you have to understand at some point I'm going to go back to being who I am but I'm happy to try monogamy with you. But it, at some point it's going to go back. To so you, it's only, it's always temporary for you. Monogamy will always yeah. be a temporary like placeholder to just kind of close it for a little bit to get yeah, close. See and if then... we like each other, but if you would really like me, you got to be down with the non-monogamy. I, I mean, frankly, most non-monogamous people, like we really aren't dating that much. Like, I, yeah. I'm tired all the time. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, God damn, I get like, so like if my friends yeah. wanna hang out, I'm just like, I'm like, listen, man, like we gotta do a group situation. Like I'll be like poly with like friends of just like, I'm like, like anytime somebody's like, let's get lunch, I'm like, we're gonna have to, yeah. we're gonna have to have yeah. like five yeah. of us there. <laughs> like, like I can't. But like, just make just it happen. One lunch? Yeah, no, no. yeah one <laughs> lunch? What are you, my manager? I'm not gonna fucking <laughs> hang out with just you solo. What, right. what are you? So like, you know. Yeah, I so I'm always so curious about this because um, and we've talked about it a lot on the podcast. So, but I I don't think it's ever redundant because I think everybody has such a different position in it. Um, you clearly, from your background, it seems like you you're not the jealous type, and that's because you grew up with like a mother who was kind of you were sharing yeah. a mother. How do you mitigate jealousy? Like, how do other people? Because I I just could never do it because I'm just like yes. I don't want you fucking some. I'm like no. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. I don't even like when my guy's like, he'll literally be like, he'll be like, Margot Robbie is so pretty. And I'm like, you shut the fuck <laughs> up. I don't, How know, dare I don't need you to tell me this. We're going to go see Barbie. You keep your head down the whole time. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need you to tell me this objectively hot woman is hot. Like, like, that woman's really pretty. I'm like, calm it down. Shut the fuck up, dude. I'm like, I'm like, I mean, yeah, what? that is the that is the thing in all the poly textbooks is like how to deal with jealousy and I think the big thing is always saying like jealousy is normal. Jealousy is a feeling that you shouldn't be ashamed to feel. You should embrace it. You should be able to talk about it openly and seek reassurance in your partner and being like, hey, you know, tell me I don't need to be jealous. You know, that's what the key to the communication is, because most of polyamory is just annoying communication. Uh, for me, I there's this thing called compersion, which is kind of the opposite of jealousy. It's when you like. It makes you happy to see your partner be happy, even if it's with someone else. Or you, it makes you happy to see your partner enjoy something with someone else or anything that doesn't have to do with you. And I feel that like I if my partner comes to me and is like, I just went on this amazing date. I met someone great. I'm so happy for them. I'm Damn. Like, oh. That sounds so evolved. <laughs> I am not. I'm like, who made you happy? <laughs> I like go fucking Joe Pesci on that. I'm like, what was tell me someone made you oh, happy? Oh, they were funny? And it wasn't me. How funny were they? Huh? Uh -huh. It was, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't make you happy. Wait, wait, wait. Who the <laughs> fuck made you happy? <laughs> who the fuck made you happy? So it's like you know, the goal for most, I think, poly people is to get to that stage where they feel the compersion. But it takes a lot of work. Like jealousy is real. I have dated so many poly couples where like I can tell someone in the relationship is jealous of like what I have with their partner or they're jealous of like how they spend time with me or what we do together. And it's just a weird thing that either like I step away from it completely or I'm just like, are you, you guys got to get over this? Yeah. Could you do it, Jamel? Yeah. I don't think so, dog. I mean, I've thought about it and it's just like, well, one, I've never really even been in the position to where somebody like a uh, multiple people are like, please be with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's start there. <laughs> but like when I think about it, I'm more on the Nina side. Like, yeah. hey, I'm just kind of, I got some old settings I'm dealing with, man. <laughs> yeah, you know dude, I mean? factory reset yeah. is like not really yeah. going to happen here. And if I'm with yeah. somebody and I'm like, I want to be with somebody else, I kind of take that as a sign that I should break up with that <laughs> other person. Yeah, it kind of depends. Well, see, that's that's your yeah. first mistake. You should have been thinking, how many balls can I get? Uh, yeah, I don't like, trying to juggle you know? it, man. Juggle. I, I mean, I, I understand because I have like definitely been into more people at once. 
you know? And that's like a tough thing where I'm just like, oh, I don't know. And then I feel like I have to make a choice. There is actually, this kind of segues into this other question somebody asked, having a long time affair with a married woman and her husband Ooh. appreciates it too. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's like that's I've, another I form of polyamory. Of yes, exactly. Yeah. And like I'm like then it, then I almost feel like cuz like, to me the word affair is nefarious. Yeah. It's not like now I'm just like, well, if you have a relationship, but then I'm like this was so vague at a point where I'm like maybe it is an affair and the husband doesn't know, but his wife is happy as a goddamn clam. And she's not, you know what I'm, I'm so saying? She suspects something, but is, is maybe it doesn't. It's one of those anything. like don't ask, don't tell situations, perhaps, which is a form of ethical non monogamy for some couples where they're kind of just like, a, I don't, don't tell me about it. I don't care what you do, but you can do it. I so. that's like the only way I could do it because I'm like, I just don't want to. I know myself, the jealousy would just, I, I it would be so terrible. Be like. Yeah, I was uh, on a date with this girl. I'm like, how'd she look like? Was she thinner than me? <laughs> Fuck her, dude. Is she younger than me? Yeah. Is she younger than me and thinner than me? What school does she go to? Yeah. Tell me right yeah. now, Tell me everything about her. What's, what's, what's her Instagram? Yeah. I'm pissed. I'm like, oh, this is her Instagram. She looks fucking, she, she took a selfie with herself with a fucking ice cream oh, cone. What a fucking, fucking basic idiot. ass bitch. Like, wow, this is what you're into? This yeah, is yeah. You have yeah. actually shitty taste and that makes me feel bad about myself. About myself. Because <laughs> you like but me. I've noticed this like new wave of couples and like newer poly people who are like, oh, our thing is that it's like, don't ask, don't tell. Like, she has people, I but we don't talk about it. Yeah, that makes more sense, but it also feels like much more dangerous. Yeah. Because it feels like there's kind of a, there's probably like a feeling of like keeping score in a weird way yeah. where like- and it's like, that to me says you're more into the secret than the kind of point of polyamory, which is like open, honest communication. Yeah. It's like, oh, you guys just think it's fun to basically have affairs. <laughs> Yeah, which I, I mean, that's I the mean, thing. Which um, it's probably hey, fun. come on, that does Tubi, sound that's probably fun. Tubi wouldn't exist. Yeah, without if affairs weren't fun. You know what I'm saying? It feels like remember that fucking does that still exist? The Ashley Madison. Do you guys remember that? I'm sure it does. Yes, and I just watched a documentary about it. Because didn't they like compromise people's uh, yeah. identity in it and shit? They did this whole documentary because that's what happened. Like all these people, basically some like Christian hacking organization was wow. like there are people and hacked them. Christian and, hackers. Yeah. Released, uh, at like, it again. All <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> They're out there. You got to be careful. <laughs> Christian, hackers. Christian hackers. Isn't that like, see, that feels like an oxymoron. Because I'm like, isn't hacking like already like, I don't know. I'm like, I don't think Jesus would Jesus hack. Would ha Jesus, Jesus wouldn't would hack, hack. But they were hacking, hacking, hacking for the Lord. <laughs> hacking, <laughs> hacking that wood into a table. Yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> carpenter over here. No, I'm just like, to hack is like such a, I mean, it's not evil, but it's like, I guess you questionable. can. Questionable. It's questionable. Morally questionable. It is. But they, I guess, were like, we're hacking for the Lord because this was, Ashley Madison was trying hacking to expand into new countries. So all these like Christians hacked it and that's, they released a bunch of emails and then it came out that the owner of Ashley Madison was having an affair. Wow. And that's how he got found duh. out because he got hacked. That's chill though. He's not only a client. Well, so he had been doing He's a bunch president. of interviews with his wife where he was like, I would never cheat on my wife. And actually, here's my wife supporting yeah. me in this business the, because it's not if, for us. If you're married to Mr. Ashley Madison, right. <laughs> sorry. Gotta roll should, with it, come man. On. Come on. Yeah, I feel like you got it. Like, that would be weird if you didn't. That's like somebody who's like a fitness instructor and they're like, and I don't do the workout that I teach. You know yeah. what I mean? I'd be like, <laughs> I would why never the fuck do you this? teach in this workout? I would workout? never do this, but you go ahead. Yeah. What <laughs> yeah. the fuck? That's like, that's like the primary reason, like in Soul Cycle, the person is like on the goddamn bike with you. Because if they were just shouting for you to do stuff, you're like, you fucking do it, asshole. Yeah. How that's about that? Like, if I go to a yoga class and like the yoga instructor is like a little too still, Oof. I'm like, nope. They're what like, are we doing? and you're gonna want to do like you're gonna gonna go into the cat cow. I'm like, how about you, you fucking do it, do it Becca? I, I got fired. You at, do uh, it. Pasadena Rec Center. They fired me because I was trying to. Yeah. Wait, what did <laughs> they I was just sitting down on it, <laughs> trying to teach yoga off my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Paying Candy Crush. Yeah, like yoga. yeah. I was like, oh, y'all got it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I used kind of bend do, over. <laughs> I used to be a spin instructor, and I would do spin classes, and most of the time I would just sit on the bike. And just be like, okay, spin, 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 turn it up, turn it up. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm not even moving my leg. But that's kind of like a, being a sex phone operator that's like, oh, yeah, I'm touching my pussy right now. Like, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're just like, 
Yeah. Giving them the- I'm just trying to get them there. I, you know, I always like, think that yourself. the best job that you could ever do if you want to like double up, like be a sign spinner and a sex phone operator simultaneously. Wow. Then you're getting paid for two oh, yeah. jobs at and once. Because you, you have the breath pattern. Yeah, you're like, yeah. I'm, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm unbuttoning yeah. my pants oh, right now. Yeah, yeah. That would be, you know, but. Probably make a lot that way. You need to do your lot. taxes. But there is there is some somebody out there on Chatterbait or I don't know what the kids use, but oh, Chatterbait. There's an idea. Everybody's probably They're always trying to make you use cracking. Chatterbait whenever you're on Pornhub looking up a video. They're yeah. like, go to Chatterbait. I'm like, this, no, this no, is it. This is the end of the road. Yeah, this is the end of the destination. I'm not gonna go. I came to here for the secondary <laughs> like porn site. I do get distracted sometimes though when they'll kind of like a pop up will come and I'll be like, let's check this out. I do when it's like, I get the weird sex video game pop-ups oh where it'll be God. like, like a bet video. Bet you can't where, come this way. Yeah, yeah. It's like bet you can't make her come. And it's like, click the button. And I'm just like, why do you think this is what I would be interested in? I do. I will say after I have watched uh, porn and I've uh, completed uh, my mission, um, <laughs> I will sometimes just browse. Oh, so like I'm up. on Reddit or something. I'll be like, well, what else? Oh, like, no. like I want to answer this question. Oh. Then I'm like, I'm well, getting out of there as soon as possible. I'm yeah. kind of like interested. And like, and I won't even, I won't <laughs> no. masturbate no more. I'm just kind of like, what's you gotta going get on? Get out of there before the Lord sees you. Yeah, you know what? I I front load that. I'll do that first, and then it's like, all right, let me. Got a <laughs> I couple mean, tabs for later, and then I. Wow. Can you share? Can you save things on Pornhub? I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Do you From have like an executive account like or something? A little, there's like a little favorite thing, isn't there? Yeah. You probably yeah. had a premium. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah, I don't want, I got too many yeah. subscriptions. I'm they not going to do it the, for porn. Yeah. That would be insane. Yeah. COVID part one, they was giving away the premium for free. Yeah. And I, Sweet. you know, you, to that point before the end, you're like, I'm never paying for this. Yeah, never. The free version is fantastic, but I do see why they have the premium. Really? You can save shit. And the backlog is nuts. There's better gifts and stuff. Too, yeah. Right? It's like a whole, like, it's like everything that they ever put on DVD. Wow. In porno is on premium. So if you if you want to get on some vintage shit. Okay. See, this makes That's a free plug. You know what? <laughs> porno, get at me. I'm available to spread y'all gospel. I heard about this because Playboy sold all their old stuff to Pornhub. Yeah. You can watch all the vintage Playboy stuff. Their backlog. And is I mean the crazy. real vintage play, like when like Hugh Hefner camera in his bedroom stuff. Oh. Like that stuff. You still mobile? Oh yeah. Whoa. That's oh, yeah. pretty impressive. Before yeah. the second hip replacement? Oh yeah. Damn. He, he was, was going on some other, okay. the he early was on some other Smasher shit. Pass, Hugh Hefner, obviously he's dead now, but like when he was like alive and kicking, what do you think? You think he's like such a? I'm like he's kind of such a legend that I'm like you kind of want to just do it. Yeah, it's story. like I, my I'm first thought was smash. About, I got yeah, smash. I would go off smash. the road alone. And I'm like thinking different time periods, but really everything I've learned about the women who have had sex with him is that he really wasn't into it that much. Mm. Is that like he would set up these elaborate cameras in his bedroom and sex scenes, and he was really just into being a director. And he'd be like, do this with these girls. And so I think it'd be kind of fun. It kind of feels like work, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like if your work is like to be like the fucking prince of porn, then it's like, why? Then when you when people are like, let's have sex, you're like, I'm yeah. off the clock. Yeah, I can't. yeah, yeah. You're like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, except one of his girlfriends did say that she walked in on him fucking her dog. So okay, whoa, he was on whoa. some other. Show. That was in the documentary. Yeah. What that, breed? Uh, uh, she said <laughs> it was a little uh, one of the white one. I want to say a, a pomeranian, like a Shih Tzu. Or, yeah, like a Shih Tzu. That's oh, what it was. Come gotta on, have you. a small dick. Hugh, what are you doing, man? Yeah, and she's like, I fucking walked in dog. on it. He was fucking the dog, and that's when I was like, things are not well here, and I stopped bringing my daughter to the Playboy Mansion, and we stopped going. Why would you? <laughs> wow, that's when she stopped. And they honey, were, yeah. it's time to leave. <laughs> it's time to go, honey. And yeah. <laughs> that is so, I can't even, why would anyone? the daughter grew up the whole time angry at the mom for separating her relationship with Hugh Hefner. She was like, Hugh was the best. I loved hanging out there. And then all of a sudden my mom was like, we can't go. And then later she found out it was because he's fucking the dogs. That dogs. is, I, I can't even, I, I, man, I, you have to be in such a dark place to want to fuck a dog. Yeah. It's like the last, like, I'm like, Jesus yeah. Christ. That like, doesn't yeah. sound I can't even, there have been like, Five news stories this year of people fucking dogs. Yeah. And I don't know why just, it's such a pandemic right now. Struggle. There was like this professor <laughs> at like Princeton. Penn, it was like Penn State. Penn State. I did the, 
I did and a pod like, where we talked about it. He really? like was they set up these cameras in the woods because they were trying to like capture photos of these rare deer in the area. And instead of getting the rare deer, they f- saw this Princeton oh, Penn State rare, professor real, fucking his rare. dog out there. Really? Like rare. he would just take his dog out and then the cops walked and like found him in the middle of it and they were like look these cameras went up we know what you've been doing and dude was like just shoot me he was straight up like just kill yeah, me yeah. he was like i would just, yeah, exactly. just look. pull your gun out and shoot me please why crazy. i just don't i mean i guess like wires got to be crossed in your brain to like want sure. a fucking animal because i'm like in what is it i hate that so i wild? somehow have been reading so much about this recently <sighs> because there was a cut article where they interviewed this guy who likes to fuck horses and it was an in that's a classic yeah it was an in-depth interview (laughs) of this guy who was like look first of all my thing is only female horses but also i'm not into fucking them okay Okay, he wasn't into fucking them all right he's like no i'm homophobic but i'll fuck a horse yeah what the fuck he's like i only fuck but then he was like i don't fuck them i am only into eating girl horses out what his whole kink was eating out girl horses that was it he was only into eating them out which i was like okay mr feminist it's the gayest activity i've ever heard right he was like and he was like describing he was like the horse knows what's up as soon as i walk in there she starts pushing into me until i'm on the floor sitting and she's up on me and he goes into such detail of like when he was a kid he's like all the other kids were into playboy and i was into horse Horse pussies weekly (laughs) he's truly like and he's the other part that like was crazy is that he's married to a woman. I think it's said to a horse. I, to a horse. A whole wish, another horse. Know, but instead he's married to a human Never woman. Never fucks his horse. Who was just like, I know <laughs> what he's up cheated. to and I support it. What the hell's wrong with this lady? Right? And I'm like, so many people are single in this world. And he found someone who was like, honey, I am cool with your horse fucking. Does it make you so like, pissed when like, I have like friends that are single and like, they're like, it's so hard to date. And then like, you see somebody you're like, I don't even know how the fuck, like, how they found, they yeah. found someone who I mean, my guess is this dude that. looked like Roger Klotz, though. There's no way he was like a guy <laughs> you'd want to hook up with. I don't know, I man. Don't know. I don't know, dude. I just can't like, believe I don't you. I don't even know what a horse's pussy looks like, but if Nuts. somebody finds that appetizing. Well, there was a uh, documentary was called really Zoo detailed. that was a, that was oh, about I saw that. That's yeah. really good, actually. Yeah, I saw that when it like I feel like it came out when I was in college or high school, and it was like very hard to find. Yeah, it's fucking. It's actually pretty good. It's about like the guy, the Mister Hands guy, who, like gets in the horse. But the right. best is like it's all um, <laughs> it's all voiceover, and then it's just like these like kind of beautiful like uh, picturesque shots of like farmland and pastoral environments, and then it'll be like. Uh, there's just something very erotic about, you know, when you're out there in the barn and you're by yourself and there's just something extremely erotic about and you're like, Jesus you're not, Christ. Wow. Yeah. I just wrote a sketch. It's a man married to a horse, but he never fucks his horse. He's cheating on his horse with other horses. Oh, Jesus Christ. That could be oh, fun. That, I mean, that dark, guy but... said that's real. He was like, <laughs> she, she would know if I did something with Okay, guys. Horse. Stop it. He goes what? into the interview. <laughs> He's like, I would never disrespect the the you know trust that I have with this horse and my relationship with her because they were like, do you ever you know go see other he horses, horse. other animals? And he was like, no, with all his heart. Wow, like, he's a one horse man. man, one horse, one man. horse man. And he was like, this is the longest relationship I've had with a horse. <laughs> I Me and my last horse broke up. She like we was listening to different music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, we, it's, my last. we weren't getting along anymore. anymore. We just we fight about petty things. Petty things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> gun, gun to your head. You got a fucking animal. Ugh, what wow. And you can't this say, was, give me was, the bullet. I knew today this was going to happen to me figured, today. I, I this was the day. This you knew today. I knew today was I'll the go day first. I got dressed. I'll go first. Okay. Thank you. Dolphin. Okay, I get it. Uh, there's a lady who fucked a dolphin. First of all, yeah. dolphins, like, they rape people all the time. They're wanting yeah. to fuck human beings. They're big. They're soft. They got, like, you know, they're, they're. Uh, I don't know. There's something. I'm like, I, I could do that. I could yeah. do that. And the you worst, know, yeah. you don't want to fuck a monkey because that's, like, too human-like yeah. in a way. Like, it has to be abstract. But that like, would, I just know that would fuck up me and the monkey. Like, I, that would leave an impact. There's or, not, I don't find monkeys that cute either. No. Like, I just, I kept, I just kept watching. Lately, I've been watching just videos of people who's gotten their face, like, ripped apart by a chimpanzee. Yeah. I'm like, I'm actually good. They throw yeah. their poop. i not into that no, at all. No, but I fuck yeah. a dolphin. I fuck no. a... Fuck a dolphin? Yeah. Sure. That's, that's a good one. That's, that's a, a good, good one. answer. 
Yeah. Something about water. You go international waters. It's all different. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's I don't, water. It's different. And then you know you get on land. <laughs> feels more consensual. Feels yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah, because get them on land. You got the upper hand. You could ghost yeah. them. You're like, yeah. I actually like say I can't be yeah. in this environment. Actually, so we can't make this work. <laughs> yeah, we can't make this work. You know, I would totally. Oh my god, like I would totally date. I live you. on the east side, man. I yeah. 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 Come well, to I the live ocean. In Silver Lake. Like, what are we doing all the here? time? <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do that. And you belong with your, you know, I mean, it's all good. That was fun, though. Yeah. You know, I mean, we had a good time. We had a good time. I mean. All right, you guys got, I can't just say, I can't just speak into a microphone and say that I would fuck a dolphin. You guys got to also help me out and tell me that you. Yeah, no, because we was going to leave you. I was like, I was was looking at you like, how long can we just leave you? um, (laughs) And you're like, moving on. We agree with Nina saying dolphin for herself. for herself. I do agree with (laughs) that answer. We got to add our own. Man, I don't know. Uh, You know what comes to mind? Like a. Like a bison or like a yak or something. Huh. Just what some shit I could just kind of like mount and we not yeah. really looking at each other like. <laughs> yeah, that's what there's a, keep it, Remember, there's a gun to my head when this is happening. Yeah, there's a gun. There's a, a, there's a loaded weapon. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really trying to execute so I don't get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Put I like that. CNN. You don't want to interact. I'm For me, I'm like dead <laughs> eyes. Right in the, yeah, yeah, I'm like locking eyes with a dolphin and I'm like... <laughs> Wow, dude. Okay. I mean, I guess I'd I like gun to my head and there's a, a world, there's a, l- a live loaded like, weapon. The animal is into it and also doesn't want to murder me. Uh, I guess I'd go with some kind of like lion or a panther. So that's a good answer okay. too. In I would because they're soft. The soft and yeah. yeah, and a panther is kind of yeah. let's be honest, it's it's kind of pretty sexy. Yeah, it's pretty sexy. Sleek enough. Sleek, sleek, yeah. Yeah. You know, beautiful so if I, eyes. If I gotta Exotic. do it, leak on you. <laughs> yeah, you I know? see. I, that yeah. I think could be a little fun. And they'd be like, you know, yeah. Yeah. like we'd have a good time. <laughs> I think great answers, guys. That's honestly, we just have to. That's listen great. To I can't wait Eartha for Kit. Yeah, like some Eartha Get Kit while you're learning going and and Panther. And... I'm excited that uh, we won't. None of us will have careers after this. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> this cool, is huh? the end, huh? This, uh, <laughs> this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is the end, dude. I had a good run, man. It's just, Somebody, why is right. so many people fucking their animals this summer? It's just it's been this all summer. Over. First year back, it's all dog. Over the news. Cause, dude, the last three there years, was... it's been all fucked up since yeah. 2020. So like, everybody who was crazy in 2019 had to sit in the house for a minute. And then they only got crazier. They just got crazier. And then once the parks reopened, yeah, my man went to the park and was acting up. Yeah. Like, there was a guy who put a nanny cam in his house because he was like, I think my girlfriend's fucking the dog. And he put the nanny cam. And then he was right. And he was like, I went straight to the police. The dog was coming home smoking cigs and shit. (laughs) Yeah. The dog steal your girl dog, dude. Yeah, why is this dog? Like my dog's wearing snapbacks now. <laughs> my dog What's so going cool. on? My dog is dog. My dog like, walking this way, like he's got a like a rhythm in his step. Yeah, dog told me he was going to the store. For the, he asked me if I needed anything from the store. I'm like, hey, when did you get money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cash. It's just. Yeah, I don't I'm gonna know. go pick some stuff up from the store. You need some? Like you're a dog. <laughs> you're a dog man. Where'd you get Chill. that voice? I just, I yeah, I can't imagine. That's the fuck. I mean, man, I feel so much better actually about myself that I'm just like, man, I have like, I fucked some like pretty low down like greasy fucking loser yeah. dudes Poor and i'm guys. like you know what i never, never fucked animal. never wanted to fuck any animal ever never in my life not that. even close not even that like is, hey that hey. fucking yeah. you know that not even a little dachshund's bit. looking at me sideways not even that <laughs> not, not even that tiny, tiny bit especially hey. when they just run up to your pussy sometimes and yeah. they start and you're they like hey buddy and you gotta be like back up yeah, yeah. Like, i'm actually Easy. good yeah <laughs> um just, i had to hear all about these people fucking animals so now all of you did too you're welcome. There you go. This is a long one, but I think that we could give this gentleman some advice. Okay. Yeah. I'm short. I'm a young 24-year-old guy who just wants his own autonomy, but also to respect others. I want to be on the right side of history. I want to love and give love and not be taken advantage of. Aww. All dating advice I've ever received comes from the following standpoints. One, as a man, I have to provide financially and do heavy lifting. Lifting initiate dates and conversations, but also be emotionally available and always know what I'm feeling. If I don't do this, then I'm either toxic or broke, and the reason why the bar is in hell. Oh no! Now I've been going to therapy and I've seen some progress and I'm working on getting a career going, but I'm getting the impression that I'll never be enough or good enough to date. I always thought of dating as the one place where I where we truly try to reach egalitarianism, but 
It seems everyone wants both the traditional and progressive way of dating at the same time instead of trying something new. It's very frustrating, especially when you want to be better, but it seems no one wants to give you the chance. Mm. It's tough. Um, He said he was short first. Yeah, well, He's actually, I wanted to give that. Actually, he said that afterward, but I oh, wanted okay. to kind of give the, <laughs> okay. the context of this because it kind of it was like it kind of felt like out of order. I feel mm. like it is interesting. I think it's um, you know, saying that like people want simultaneously like to be yeah. progressive and traditional at the same True. time. I I completely understand that, and I see that, and it does yeah. feel uh, incongruent. You know, like the desires do. Yeah, it does seem like we're at a time when it's very much like, ladies, make the first move. Everybody is equal. We're all dating. But if that man shows up and isn't ready to pay $100 for a meal with you, he's a bum and you're wasting your time and you need to treat yourself better, girl. And I just, I mean, let go of all of that, frankly. I think my dating life got a million times better when I got rid of any sort of notion of like, what other people said a relationship should be or how a first date should go or what I should be doing or expecting. You know, I think you find the person for you by just being yourself. And if you are, if yourself is like taking someone out to a hundred dollar dinner or whatever, okay, you'll find someone who appreciates that. But if not, like there's plenty of people willing to date you if you aren't paying their bills. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I mean, I think it's, I think it is tough because it's like, it is. It can be such a fucking matrix of like what some people do prefer this kind of traditionalist way of like you need to ask me out the first date. You got to pick me up. You got to pay for everything. I feel like that's not really that's not really fair. Even though I'm a woman who like I have wanted that. I've wanted that like in the past, and I've wanted that like. I want Amanda to like kind of take care of me because it can fall into that kind of traditional role and then also like make me feel more of like a desirable woman. But at the same time, I've never been judgmental about somebody's earnings. Like yeah. I've never, I've dated some guys that are like wealthy and they're able to do that. And I've dated some guys that they, they can't do that. But that doesn't mean that I really, I really have had both, and it has not made me judge either. I remember an ex of mine said this to me, and it really, this is a good perspective, I think. So he made a lot more money than me, and he would take me out, and I was like, that's so nice, but I would feel like a little guilty, and I voiced that to him. I was like, you know, I feel like sometimes I should cover it, and he's like, you know what? I think you can cover just a tiny bit because if you think about it, I make X amount of money. So then when I pay for something that let's say is $100, it's actually just a kind of small percentage of my income. Whereas yeah. if you if you treat it equally, if you pay for the exact same things that I'm paying for, that is going to like financially hurt you. So it's not the same. So what if you just yeah. pay the amount that I'm, com like in the percentage, if that makes sense. And I thought that that was really kind. Yeah. And I think that makes sense. I think that's the way to do it. I've been in both sides of this of it where I'm like, I'm a comedian. I'm poor. I've been the poor person in the relationship where I'm like, oh, if you can help, that's so nice and supportive. But I've never gone into a relationship with that expectation. I've also been on the other side. Like I used to work in tech and I was like the rich friend baller. And I was like, I'm paying for everybody's manicures and brunches and everything. And that's always fun too. But I think if you're that type of person, it's because it brings you joy to do that. It should be for that, not because you're like, this is the mandatory thing for me to get a partner. If you approach it that way, you're just going to be broke and angry when you spend your money on people who don't want to date you. Yeah, that's really true. Jamel, how do you, do you like, how do you kind of like deal with finances and dating? Hmm. I was thinking about it. My dating life didn't really like, start to feel positive until I got my money together. But it wasn't because I was like blowing money. I don't know. It was just like doing the things uh, on my own to be alive. It was like, it just yeah. helped me mentally mm -hmm. and making money is a part of that. I wasn't necessarily blowing the money on like crazy dates, but I will say financial security helps. It helped me. But maybe that's just like mentally. Your, yeah. Yes. I was going to say like, probably it gave you the confidence to be like, Oh, I can, I feel better dating because I feel better about like what I can bring to the table. Yeah. yeah. Right. 
You know how stressful as a girl, how stressful is when you're dating and you're broke and you're like, God, I'm going to go on this date and I hope he fucking pays. <laughs> I thought that was most of my 20s was just being like, fingers crossed he pays because if he says we got to split this or I have to cover myself, uh, I do not have money. <laughs> yeah, I see. I never. It's weird. Like, I think a lot of times like. I don't know, fucking like men's rights activists, but also like just guys can criticize the way that that. And I, I think that like guys can criticize the way that women will approach the kind of dating scene. will be like, he needs to pay for everything, which I think I really think that's wrong. Yeah. I really think that's wrong, especially if you're going on like a first date, like with the oh, intention yeah. that you are an equal share of trying to get to know one another, you know, I think, like, because somebody actually did ask this as well, and it is kind of relates to this. Um, it says, dudes should pay for the first date, but what if we go to a second location and or second date? So I actually, maybe I sound a little traditionalist here, but I do feel like if a guy asks yeah. me out, you should pay. he should pay. Yeah, I think oh, if a guy second location, whatever, they should pay for yeah, everything. Yeah, I do. I even, but even second location, I might... Let's say we go to dinner and then after that, he's like, hey, let's get a drink. I might be like, oh, I'll get the drink because it's like it's a difference. I'm like, oh, I'll cover your like $15 drink. And I feel like it's a little bit more like I don't I don't mind, especially if the date's going so well that we go to a second location, yeah. you know, but I feel like if you're asking me to like, cause it, I mean, honestly, same goes platonically. If I'm like, hey, Ashley, you want to grab some lunch? I kind of would, I would like pay for like a friend of mine platonically a lot of time. It, it I oh, wow. It depends if I'm if I'm asking hey, them to do I'm, something. So, yeah. So if it's like an expensive place I want to try, I'll be like, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. And I I try to make that a little clear. I think the worst and something that has really frustrated me is when a guy's like, I made a reservation somewhere. We're gonna go here. He's making all the choices. Cool. And then he'll maybe like we'll get a bottle and we'll do this, like a bottle of wine and, oh, and all that. Yeah. And then the bill comes and they want to split it. I'm yeah, like, I'm like, no, Whoa. you did all this. That's That to me is like rude. Cause I'm like, yeah. you gave me the false impression that this was like on you. Yeah. We didn't really meet. We, if you're making bottle moves, that's your bill. And like, not only that, you're making like, you're making the moves of like, I'm the man. Like I'm the fucking, like I'm taking care of this. Like you're, you're yeah. acting like, hey, like I got this, you know? And then the check comes and you don't got this. I mean. Yeah, oof. that makes me angry. I, <laughs> I yeah. remember getting so mad at this fucking dude years ago. I was I like was seeing this guy a little bit and he asked me to go to like a really expensive dinner. And I was like, it, it was during the pandemic. It was just Ooh. like 2020, something like that, or maybe like 2021. And he asked me to go to this place that is very expensive. And we go there, we're having a blast. Everything's all nice. Then the check comes and he goes, we get to split this. And I was like, so I was kind of stunned because I also I was so financially broke, which I was very open about. I was like telling him how mm. broke I was. Yeah. Um, like he knew that I was in a place that was like kind of compromised financially because I didn't have any work because, you know, fucking comedian. Yeah. All that yeah. shit. Hey. So and I knew that he had money because he has uh, like a trust fund. OK, so the check comes. He wants to fucking split it. And I remember being so embarrassed that like the the server took that like he put his card down and I kind of like hesitated and then the server took his just his card and he goes oh wait I'm like don't worry and I, this I mean it was kind of rude but fuck it I just thought like I'll just Venmo you so you can pretend to be a gentleman yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't know because I was no. like I'm I absolutely so, would have said that I'm, I'm just like, embarrassed yeah. if y'all talked about it before too yeah I feel like we talked about him paying for it, but it's like he knew that I wasn't doing well financially, that I was like, yeah. I wasn't going to go to this fucking steakhouse. Like if if it was on my own terms, yeah. I would have gone to Lovely. like a cheaper fucking place. But um, oh my God damn, that guy really got out of getting pussy. I mean, honestly, <laughs> that was like a night that I was like, I'd fuck this guy. Did not. Never yeah. fucked him. Ever. See, that is one reason why I prefer the first date to be like a coffee, like something small where it's like if There's I. There's a cap on the spending. Yeah, where mm -hmm. I'm like, and if it sucks, I don't have to sit here and have a whole meal with you. Or if I get there and I don't like your vibe, I can just buy my own coffee and be yeah. like, oh, I'll just get like a black coffee, $3 and then dip because this person sucks. But then if I do like them, they'll usually be like oh, let's go to get drinks and then they cover the drinks and I can be like, okay, cool. Yeah, and I don't want to feel guilty either. Like, I think that, like, I, I get a little nervous, like, 
when a guy would like pay for everything and I didn't like him, I'd be like, fuck, yeah. like, I feel kind of bad. I that. Yeah, I feel you know? so guilty, which I, like apparently means I'm not a city girl, but. <laughs> I would feel guilty too, but it's like, I just don't, I don't like, there is this narrative that like women want it all. Like they want, we want to date like 10 out of 10s when like, uh, again, like men's rights activists <laughs> kind of have this like, like okay, like six is at best, want a, like the whole package, the but whole they're package. not realizing they that they're chat. not, they you know? Need, yeah. But they're not realizing they're not the whole package. And like, maybe I'm just like, uh, down and out, like, you know, maybe self-conscious, but I'm like, yeah, I don't want a guy to like invest in me and me be like, I don't even know if I'm investing in you. You know, I don't want him to have yeah. to spend a bunch of money. And I'm like, this doesn't feel fair. You know, yeah, which is nice. It is. It's hard to navigate because the money is really connected to how you show somebody that you are interested. Because women want you to have the plan. Show me a plan. Have a plan. Let's do the plan. Yeah. And when you have the plan and you're like, I can't pay, then that's it. Looks kind of fucked like, up. Yeah. Like, what was the plan here? Yeah. And I guess it would talking about it prior and actually agreeing to split a check. Is that like a thing that can actually viably like be like you could still see this person romantically if they're like really trying to like really like be lo like logistical with a plan? I think that what you should do, let's say if you're a guy who isn't doesn't have that much money, you can choose a cheap fucking place. Yeah. You could go to the cheap like place. there's there's places that like you can get a fucking twelve dollar burger. But like pay for it. Like if you're gonna ask a girl out, it's very symbolic to me to cover it. Like it's yeah. just to cover it. Now, when you're dating somebody for a while, way different because like, you know, I have a yeah, boyfriend now who split dates. everything. It's like we yeah. gotta like I have a boyfriend and it's we like split oh, the rent. Yeah. Yeah. Once it split, gets real, it's split. You split fucking yeah. everything. But in the courting process, if you are a dude who is in a traditional kind of like setup with like a straight relationship or whatever, seeking that out, in general, I feel like women do want you to kind of take the reins financially. First few dates, maybe pay. Yeah. Again, you're Until not having you to get spend. The ass, is it, does it change after, after the bun? I think after you get the ass, like you actually kind of need to split it a little bit because it's also like oh, a guy. Oh, wow. I'm if like, it was, you're fucking me, then you're buying my drink. <laughs> what? I mean, really? What? I mean, hey, well, look, Unless man. like we're in the type of relationship, like if we're in a relationship where I am introducing you to my friends as like my partner or boyfriend, mm. then okay. Okay, if All you're right. paying okay. half the utilities where I live, okay. Okay, okay, that is that is fair, that's fair. But, but I almost feel like the more it goes on, the more I feel like, okay, we gotta kind of even the scales a little bit. Cause I mean, honestly, I don't wanna feel uncomfortable. Like, and I've, I've seen, so guy friends of mine have told me, dude, I've gone on a date with a girl and been like, I'll pay for this. And they'll be like, no, like I wanna split it. And then I'm like, then I'm like, oh, maybe they're not interested. Because I would do that. Like, if I'd go on a date yeah, with somebody, they'd want to pay. I'm like, no, like, I actually got this. Yeah. No, no, actually, I would be like, oh, that <laughs> person isn't in me. They <laughs> yeah, like, don't okay. want to feel guilty. They want to split it. Yeah. Yeah, but. exactly. And and so, and they're like, no, like, they'll they'll just want to have that. Like, it's, it's like actually, it's like for them, they're like, this is like feminism. This is actually like equality. And for me, I'm like, I have that fucking challenging <laughs> shit <laughs> where I'm like, kids. yeah, no, I know, seriously. <laughs> I have this challenging <laughs> ass shit where I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course I'm a feminist and I like totally want equal rights yeah. uh, and I want to be treated like this way. But then I'm also like, but like, can you like, but you should pay for this. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know it feels it's, combative, but. Yeah, and it's like interesting because the person I'm seeing now, I'm they're poly too. They have a primary that they live with. But we're getting so serious that he was like, you know, I we're at a point I'm at your place all the time. I would also start paying your utilities and half your rent. And I'm like, that's crazy. You already got another apartment and then you're going to start throwing out on mine. Hell yeah. I'm not going to say no to that. That's fucking nice as hell. <laughs> yeah. right, like, if, that's, if that's how you were raised. <laughs> if who am I? I? Who am I to deny your I culture? It's just your culture. Yeah, yeah, I mean, be. if you're trying to pay full. And I mean, really, if you're only paying half of another, that's just full rent. So, OK. Man, the cat, it's it's tough because the thing, things are feel like it's uh, attempting to change between the uh, the genders <laughs> like there's attempts i don't know if anything's actually changed i don't know dude it i feels feel like some uh, failed attempts but it is like there is still something that's kind of non-negotiable with uh in terms if you if you identify with your own gender and your gender identity is like i'm biologically born a woman i i identify as a woman there's certain things that are just like are, are inscrutable I just like that I feel like are just these these things that I want that I 
And you don't want to judge your own desires. I've judged my own desires a lot where I've been like, man, I shouldn't want this because I'm a modern woman. And I'm like, but this is what I fucking want, what man. You want. And that's this what feminism is doing what you want. And there's people that are completely off the, like, on the other side of it where they're like, no, 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 no. Like, this is how I want it. And everyone's different. And I would say probably just to be safe, I feel like guys should pay for the first date just to be safe. Yeah. And if you are like, you look, I'm struggling financially then go to either a cheap place. I wouldn't go as far to say, some people have this like mindset where they're like, if you're struggling financially, you shouldn't be dating. I'm no, like, well, that's, that's not fair. fair. That's, that's not, not fair. fair. What about that's the park? Fair. Park too cheap? No. no so, let's see, let's see, I'm all park. for a cheap first okay. date. Like ice cream, coffee, let's hang in the park and smoke. That is all I think fine to me. Yeah, I think so too. Like, okay. there, I don't think there should be an expectation of like, let's spend a lot of money on, to, on each other until you know that you like each other. Yo, like, there, if something happens to... I've. I feel like dudes are more victim to this, even though I'm guessing everyone is like, just like a collective consciousness that's like on you, like things have to be this way. But no, like, I think this guy who sent this message, yeah, he's probably rarely dealt with a woman who was really like, you got to put up $100. Yeah. Like, that's like an idea that and exists on the computer like that's from like sitcoms in the 90s like yeah like people aren't really the moving yeah they're like, like anticipating that. fear like that. yeah that it's like like oh what if this happened to me i'm like this hypothetical yeah. like why are we talking hypothetical like, right there was a real. part where they said something like and i'm afraid no one will ever want to take a chance dating me and it's like oh honey there's someone for everyone dude whose fucking horse is found I'm just a wife talent, dude i'm okay. so like, this puss this horse pussy, <laughs> no, horse had pussy to, dude can find he, a wife let me well, tell you there is someone out there he had to get with a different squad he had to kind of he took it he might have he might have made some human attempts and was like you know I, what he got a wife i'm going to the goddamn and stables like, i'm tired of this attempts. these like, damn humans and then like i watch my strange addiction there's a couple on there they drink urine together and that's what brought them together was Candle like he, with that? truly the guy uh, was posting cute. videos that's posting cute. his own urine and the girl was like i always wanted a dude who drinks his own urine because i do too uh -huh. and now we drive around drinking each other's urine wow well, you're drinking and driving in a car? Oh. whoa yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no oh, you yeah. can't put it in a yeti <laughs> thermos <laughs> what's going on dude that's the crazy part and put it in a beer it was an open mason jar <laughs> an open mason jar in a car and i was like officer i know what this looks like it's piss like i know this looks like a frothy beer but the froth is actually <laughs> is just actually my urine. Just it's just piss, sir. Urine. I'll pass any test you got. And if those two people can <laughs> find each other, there's truly someone out there for everyone, okay? Buddy, there's someone out there who is all about you being in therapy yeah. and thinks that's enough and is all about you wanting... Like, they... There's someone out there for everyone. Young, young man, I suggest you get your paper right and yeah. just stay, stay just focused stay on focused that right on now. Just stay focused on you, on the therapy, on getting your money right. And then it'll come together. And it'll come together. You'll see that girl who you're like, you know what? Let's go get the ice. Let's go out. And it, it's, it clicks. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's just do one more question. We could wrap it up because this is. I think we're kind of in a good rhythm with uh, this kind of subject matter. And is this is a person think... who wants to fuck an animal. Gotta yeah. Be. <laughs> um, For me and I my platypus. A crush on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a crush on a giraffe. Do you think that's an unrealistic dating standard? Um, uh, yes, because they're very tall. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is, I think, a great question. Um, how to meet women when you're scaling up business and or career? Should I put dating on pause? The answer is yes. Really? <laughs> the answer is 100% yes. Yeah. Really? Why? Kind of connected why? to the same thing as before. Like, this yeah. other kid is like, I, nothing made sense in dating until I had my personal life in order. Being able to afford to live was more important than love pussy. or the feeling or anything horse ass. pussy because every time i would get ass when my shit was fucked up it would everything else would get more fucked the up. ass vanishes the ass would then disappear and i'm like dog what the f it was just ass here yeah i couldn't get the ass to stay until i have my own shit right until you get the stuff right yeah i mean i think though that if you have goals in mind it really depends on this person but it's like yeah. if you have goals in mind because you should always complacency is I think very unattractive okay. you know I mean, so you know what I mean so it's like let's say somebody is just like hey man like I'm at the place that I I need to be and it's like you should always to me the most attractive thing what I've always needed in a partner is somebody who's always looking onward and upward you know who's always like wanting to let's say they're doing well but they want to do even better you know and it's still being satisfied with where they're at and that's that's lovely, but yeah. yes, it's like, let's say Bulls. they're, Dreams. they are like, okay, their career is maybe at a point that they want to do better. 
that person in your life, like dating somebody might even kind of put the, be the fire under your ass to, to even do that. Cause like having a supportive partner really is just, it enriches your life in a myriad of ways. But then they gotta, you know, they gotta support how you're moving too. Cause do you wanting yeah, more that's the question. requires more of your time. Yeah. Cause like if you're the type where like your job, what you're working on requires like, 16 hour days in the office and like you're working weekends and it's you know you could be in a relationship but you're neglecting that person that's where i sometimes will be like it makes sense to take a break from dating right now i can't date the way i want to date you know if i'm on tour i will feel guilty if i like try to start something with someone and then i'm like oh and by the way i'm gonna be on the road for like three weeks yeah you want to be you aren't gonna see me you want to be an equal share partner yeah like, i think so that's i think if you can be honest with like you know the work you're taking on and like your timeline and you know okay it's not gonna be like this in a month then yeah take a break but if you're always like that if you're just always in this chaos mode of like my life is too busy to date then you need to reflect on yourself it's tough though because you do want it all like it's like you know it's like if you are working on yourself like do you should you be lonely at the same time you know what i mean at the same token Probably. you know i know i guess <laughs> I mean, and that's look. I'm, I'm putting a lot of personal shit into that because yeah, that's what, what I do, did. I what we do is very like one person alone. You're running your own race. You're at the comedy club. It's 11 p.m. Yeah, you're and talking it makes shit. It, yeah, it makes it so hard to like date. Yeah, you've and... had three gin and tonics. You don't give a shit where your car is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. These are the things that come with that. Like, but I don't know if you're just like want to be like a better accountant. Yeah. Then I, you probably don't need to. You're right, dude. Yeah. It actually like, you should be able to date and be an accountant. I no, think. for real. <laughs> it actually totally depends on the career that you have for because sure. it's like how much are you like, dude? People that work in um like in finance, uh, you know, if you are working, let's say you're young and you work for some fucking hedge fund or some bu bullshit, mm -hmm. um. Those people have to spend, I didn't know this because I'm not really friends with the, like people that are like financial advisors or whatever. Um, mostly just, you know, people that are, you know, uh, bass players or something like that. But <laughs> but it's, they have to work so much. It's crazy. They, they are working oh, literally like 50, hours. 60 oh, hours a week. Yeah, 90 yeah. hour weeks, and you got to be, yeah. and you got to be all yipped up. Yeah, yeah. Man, you they're have to. Coke. They're all just like, yeah, let's go. We're gonna yeah. make these trades. Because then if you don't, then they think you a cop. Yeah, yeah. everybody's <laughs> looking at you like you FBI. Why you it's like, like I don't care if you guys are insider trading. Yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah, you gotta go full Wolf of Wall Street yeah. lifestyle yeah. when yeah. you start working in that industry. And I had no fucking idea how crazy demanding it is. And like, these people can never. Ha like, how could you have a relationship? Like, yeah. there's no fucking it's like, way. In those cases, you're truly just waiting until you, like, get promoted to that next, like, senior associate level. And you're like, oh, now I get, like, to breathe. summer Fridays. Exactly. Oh. And so now, so it does depend on, like, what your career is. Because then some people could be like, hey, I'm, like, the way this person worded it was saying, like, scaling up a business. I'm like, that might mean that, like, hey, I'm, like, opening a restaurant. Yeah. Like, I'm really busy. But, like, I do want to, like, date somebody. And I'm like, I think... I I think also like you kind of know how available you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you got to just kind of take an honest assessment of like your time, your schedule, how much like time you have emotionally and mentally to focus on your career uh, and or job and business. And then also how much like energy you have for your friends and family and loved ones and all of that. So, you yeah. know, so much of what's fucked up with dating is about being honest with yourself, being honest with the person you're talking to. Or like, or, or kind of being too honest even. Like, I feel like dudes all the time will be like, hey, just so you know, I don't want nothing serious. And it's like, dog, we've only, you don't we even know me. Just yeah, like, like that's yeah. a thing that dude, dudes do that all <laughs> the time. They put all of it for, and it's like, I truly just asked what your name was. Yeah, like you just easy. told me your blood type, how much money you make, what you're looking for. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know what that is. Like, I feel like guys, like when I was single, I didn't really get too many guys saying that. And maybe because they just like didn't put their foot in their mouths. And mm. I think it's so weird when people like start with that when they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah when they're like, I'm not looking for anything serious. I'm like, I would, I've okay. never said that to somebody unless I knew that I didn't like them, yeah. to be honest with you. I, I mean, if I would have heard that, I'd be like, I don't want to see this person unless it's just a sex thing and I feel the same kind of like, I'm I'm also aloof to this and it doesn't really matter. I'm not looking for anything serious too. So we can just have fun, be physical, whatever. It's all good. But if you go in with saying, I'm not looking for anything serious, you got to know that then you are just putting 
you were just closing that door forever. Yeah. Just go in with a little bit of an open mind and and be like, yeah. hey, maybe you could change. Some people are fucking so awesome that you start seeing them and you're like, I'm so busy. I'm not looking for anything serious. But they're so great. They're like, man, like if I don't take advantage of this, per like that's what love really is. Like if I, if I don't lock it down with this person, I'm going to fucking regret it. Because like I will make space and time for this person because they are they're really genuinely worth yeah, it, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know you when go. you when you do start making time, that's when you know. Yeah. Like actually, I can't. Oh, I want to be with this person. I'm oh, like, I guess I can't hang out at the the store till five a.m. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I actually, fucking, I want to go to the farmer's gin and market. Tonic yeah, person yeah, at yeah. A.m. Like, okay, I'm gonna try to actually get sleep tonight. Yeah, exactly. And that's how you know. Well, guys, I think with that we're going to wrap. Um, is there any questions you guys have for me? You can say no, it's fine. It does, I, I won't take offense to it. Where you guys do, are like, I don't need to know anything. Yeah, where the weed at? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Shoes? No, thank you very much. Oh, those are really I, good. Well, I have been eyeing these bottoms. That's a heavy weight. Yeah. It feels like the shoes. Dude used to bring those to high school to like dunk. <laughs> like to like get the leg strength yeah, to, to dunk the, the height. Yeah, Some yeah. Stretching. That's why I'm doing it. I'm a basketball player. <laughs> that's why I'm doing this shit in a mule sand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, well, where can they find you, Ashley? Uh, at fun? the Ashley Ray on all the things. Uh, I got some tour dates coming up. So, and my album comes out this fall. So, yeah, just follow me and you'll hear about Ooh, it. Oh, congratulations, yeah. Jamel. Uh, I'm at Broccoli House on Instagram, and uh, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. If you get a chance to see either of them live, I really recommend it. Both very, very funny comics. Oh, the first Wednesdays at uh, the Clubhouse mixtape. Oh, That's really? Me. Yeah, upstairs. At the, come on down. We back at the Clubhouse. Oh, I want to do that next up. time I'm in town. Free, free beers. Come on down. Damn, right. that's good. Uh, I'll be at the Elysian Theater September 18th. Oh, okay. Hosting a, a show for Field, the dating app. So, Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I host a lot of the Field shows. You're trying to date? Trying to be around horny people? Go to those shows. All the field people are horny as hell. Yeah, they're trying to smash all the yeah, time. Yeah, all the time. It's kind of scary. <laughs> okay. But. Great. So if you want to go to a comedy show where there's also sexual predators, so make sure to <laughs> go to Ashley's. The Allegiance of number 18. That'd be great. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Um, if you ever have any questions or inquiries in any way, shape, or form, always DM the account or you could DM me. And I love you all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Oh, oh.